Hello students, I am Sandhu, Assistant Professor, Department of CSE, MIT M. So, in the today's session, we will discuss about the design of fast adder. Before we are going to this topic, first see what is ripple carry adder. To overcome the disadvantage of the ripple carry adder, we are using the fast adder. It is also called as look ahead adder or parallel adder. Okay, first see what is a ripple carry adder. Say for example, x i and y i. So, these are the two inputs x i or two bits x i and y i. You will get the sum it is s i. So, the carry it is uh, taken from the previous column it is c i. It is also called as carry in. Okay. So, the next is the carry it is generated from this column and it will be propagated to the next row it is called as c i plus 1 or it is called as carry in carry sorry carry out so this is c i it is called it as carry in and the c i plus 1 it is called it as carry out okay so in the arithmetic and logic operation in the alu arithmetic and logic operations we are using and get or get not get and xor gets so compared to multiplication and division the addition and subtraction circuitry is simple that means multiplication and division circuitry is bit complex than the addition and subtraction circuits okay and the addition and subtraction circuit is bit complex than the logic circuits. So, in the logical operations, you are performing, you are doing the operation for single bit or you are applying the operation for individual bits, right? So, in that case, we need only the combinational circuits to perform the logical operation and it is bit simple. In the addition and subtraction, we need extra signals. That extra signal, let us call it as this carry or borrow signals, right? Here, CI and CI plus 1, it is called it as carry signal or borrow signals, okay? Take an example, 0 plus 0, 0 plus 0. So, in that case, what is the output? What is CI value and what is CI plus 1 value? So, initially the C i value it may be it is 0, it may be 0. So, in that case the S i value is 0 plus 0 is 0 only, okay. So, the next is C i plus 1. So, by adding these two number the carry it is generated from this column again it is 0. Okay, take another one example 1, 1. So, in that case, in that case, so the C i initially it is 0. Okay, usually we are using C i value in the 2's complement addition. So, in that C i value, it will, it will be 1. Okay, so otherwise it is C i value it is 0 initially. Okay. So, the next is 1 plus 1, the answer that means SI, the sum is 0 and the carry is 1. That means it is a C out value that is C out is equal to 1. Okay. So, you can write this in the, in the circuits. You can write this in the full adder block diagram. Here, this is the full adder and we have two bits, right? So, that is x i and y i. Okay. So, in this x i and y i, this is c i value and the output or c out value from this block, it is c i plus 1 and 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 the sum of this block, it is s i. So, this block it is used for only the 
2 bit addition 1 plus 1 0 plus 1 1 plus 0 0 plus 1 like that okay so we have we have 4 bits so in that case we have 4 bits in that case take take an example for that it is 0 0 1 1 0 okay so the next is 1 1 0 1 here this is x and this is y value this row is x and this row is y okay so here it is this is x 0 and y 0 okay initially c 0 will contain value 0 right so this is the c in value 0 plus 1 what is the answer what is the sum that is s 0 it is 1 this is s 0 right so what is the c out value for this column that means c out means it is a carry generated from this column and it will be propagated to the next column right so here 0 plus 1 the answer is 1 that means s0 is 1 and the carry s i plus 1 is 0 now now this 0 it will become the c in value that is c i value here it is a c1 so add these three numbers 0 1 0 so again s1 value is 1 and the answer is or uh, the output carry out is 0. Now this carry out value that means C2 value it will become the C in value now 0 1 1. So if it is 1 1 the answer is 0 that means S2 value is 0 so then the carry is 1. Now the C out value is 1 so in the next column this will become the C in value and 1 0 1 and the answer is 0 and carry 1. Now this is C 4 right this is C 4 this is C 0 this is C 1 and C 2 and this is C 3 ok. So, based on this example, you can write the full adder block here. So, this is for first column and for the next column FA. So, this will become 0, 0 and this is C0 and this is S0 and the, for the next one it is 1. The carry for the next column it is C1. Okay. So, the next is the second column it is x1, y1 the answer is or the sum is s1 and s2 carry is s2. Now, this carry s2 it will become the carry in for the next column now fa this is x2, y2 and sum is s3 and the next is c3 next is fa s4 x3 and y3 ok sorry it is x2 s2 and s3 and the last carry it is c4 this is the ripple carry adder so, write down the circuit diagram for this ripple carry adder. Here, here the sum function is xi, xor of yi and xor of ci. This is the xi, yi and ci is a function right xi xor of yi xor of ci by using this you can generate the sum okay in the ripple carry adder 
So, how to generate the C i plus 1? This is C i plus 1. So, for this step, this is C i plus 1. Okay. So, this is x i y i plus x i c i plus x i sorry y i c i. So, this is the function sum function and the carry function. Okay. Now, write the logic diagram for this. So, the logic diagram for sum, it is, it is a XOR of X, Y and C. So, here XOR will contain 3 pins, right? Okay. It will contain 3 pins that is XI, YI and CI. Okay, the output from this it is S I. Okay, this is for this is for to generate the sum. Okay, so the next is for carry here we are using AND gate and this is OR gate, right? Okay, here we uh, we need through two three. Here we need 3 and gate. Okay. So, this is xi, yi, xi, ci, yi, ci. Okay. Next, you need to use our gate to connect these 3 pins and this is the C i plus 1. Okay. So, here, here in the sum we have only one OR gate, right? We have only one OR gate. So, here we have only one level. So, that means to get the S i value we need one X OR gate delay. Why? For to get the SI value, we need one XOR gate delay. So, likewise here, here, so this is the level 1. Okay. So, this is level 2. This is level 1 and level 2. So, in that case, to, to get the CI plus 1, so, we have two levels. So, we need two gate. Here we are using both and and or gate. Right? And and or gate. So, we need two gate delay. So, this is for block 1. So, in 4 bit addition, in the ripple carry adder, we have four blocks. Right? Four full adder blocks. Four cells. Right? So, in that case, in that case for, for S to get the S4 that is the last sum, right? Say so for example, S0, S1, S2 and S3 in the previous diagram. So, to get the S0, S1, S2 and S3 we need 1 into 4. So, that means we need 4 gate delay. Okay. Likewise, save. So, for this, we have N. We have N, CN. To get the CN value, we need 2 into N gate delays. 2N gate delay. So, in the previous example, yes, 2 into 4, that means we need 8 gate delays to get the C 
n value that means c3 value so but we need c n plus 1 also right so in the previous example it is c i plus 1 so in that case 2 n plus 2 k delay is required to get the c n plus 1 ok so in the ripple carry adder so to get the s i value we need 1 x or gate delay so to get the c i plus 1 we need 2 gate delays so likewise we need c n so in that case 2 into n that is 2 n gate delays is required to get the c n value or c i value or for c i plus 1 we need 2 n plus 2 gate delay is required to get the c n plus 1 ok so this is the main disadvantage of the ripple carry adder to overcome this we use carry look ahead adder or parallel adder it is also called as the fast adder ok the next topic is carry look ahead adder so in the previous example to get the c1 value you need you must need c0 value to get the c2 value you must need c1 value that means it is depends on the previous carry it dependent on the previous carry value so that is also disadvantage of the ripple carry adder so in this carry look ahead adder the addition is done parallelly that's why it is also called as parallel adder okay so here the sum is as we know that it is xi xor of yi xor of ci right and the carry i plus 1 is equal to xi yi plus xi ci plus yi and ci right you can rewrite this formula as xi yi plus c is common here remove it out xi plus yi into ci ok so in the carry look ahead adder this is gi plus pi ci so here gi is nothing but generate carry generate function it is a generate function and pi is the propagate function it is a propagate function here gi is the generate function and pi is the propagate function here gi is nothing but xi yi and pi is nothing but xi plus yi ok so here uh, we need we need one and gate for gi and one or gate for pi and one xor gate for si okay so this is carry function and this is the this is the carry function and this is sum function so we rewrite this carry function into gi plus pi ci here gi is the generate function and pi is the propagate function so for this we need one and gate for gi one or gate for uh, pi and one x or gate for si okay now write the logical diagram for this say for example we have x and y value x and y xi yi by using and gate here right by using this and gate you can generate the gi function you can get the gi function okay in the same level by using the same input so by using r gate you will get the pi value okay so add c for this c i for this and add this gi function and use 
or get again you will get the C i plus 1. So, in this example this is in level 1, this is in level 2, this is in level 3. So, that means that means here we need 3 gate delay to get the C i plus 1. But in the previous example, we need only 2 gate delay, right? But, but here we are doing parallel addition, okay? So, yes, here we need 3 gate delay to get the C i plus 1, okay? So, for some, for some, for some, it is again P i x i n. Here, for the practical purpose, we rewrite this P i as x i x or of y i. We rewrite this as P i is equal to x i x or of y i. So, in that case, s i is equal to s i is equal to P i x or of c i right. So, in that case we need plus 1 add plus 1 that means we need 4 get delay delay to get the s i value ok. So, we need 4 get delay to get the s i. So, now so now write the so by using this formula s i is equal to p i x or of c i so we rewrite the logical diagram here we rewrite oh, c i plus 1 is equal to g i plus p i c i right Yes, now we rewrite this as this is same x i y i and this is g i ok. So, the next is by using the same input x or you will get p i and by using this again x or C i will get S i value. So, this is the logical diagram for S i ok. So, here it is call it as bit cell fully we are call it as bit cell or B cell. Here we have one AND gate and two XOR gate. So, here we have generate function, propagate function and sum and the carry totally we call it as bit cell. So, by using this you can add the numbers. So, this is for two bits ok. Now, now, now write the four bit carry look ahead adder ok. Now, write the Diagram for 4 bit carry look ahead adder. Ok, this is B cell. So, in the carry look ahead adder, we are using carry look ahead logic. Here, this is the carry look ahead logic. Okay. So, in that, this is x0 and y0 x0 and y0, this is bit cell. So, inside bit inside this we have two XOR gate and one one AND gate ok. 
So, for to get the C i plus 1, we need 3 gate delays and uh, to get the S i value, we need 4 gate delays, ok. Ok, here, here we have C 0 value. So, if we are doing uh, in the 2's complement addition, so you need to add 1 to the 1's complement result, right. So, in that case, the C0 it will be 1 or else it is 0, ok. So, this is also send it to the carry look ahead logic and you will get the answer that is S0 and we get two functions that is G0 and P0, G0 and P0. So, like that, so the next is second B cell second bed cell this is x1 and y1 and the sum is s1 and the propagate and the generate function is g1 and p1 ok so yes we get g0 and p0 and we have one more right so by using these two numbers the logic carry look ahead logic it will generate the c1 so, that will be sent to the next column. This is C1. Again, after this, we get this value C2. And this is the next bit cell. And this is X2 and Y2. And this is S2. And the, what is the propagate and generate function here? It is G2 and P2. Okay. So, the next you will get by using this log, uh, carry look ahead logic, we will get the C3. And this is your fourth cell, fourth bit cell X3 and Y3. And this is the S3 and This is P3 and G3 and the last you will get C4. This is the diagram for 4 bit carry look ahead adder. This is this is carry 4 bit carry look ahead adder. Here we are adding 4 numbers or 4 bits. Okay. So, okay. After this, yes. How it will be do, do the addition and carry function parallelly? We do not know, right? Okay, take an example. Yes, already we have C0 value, right? C0 value. So, you need to uh, calculate the C1 value. How? So, for C1, it is G0 plus P0 C0, right? Once we get the P0, G0 and C0 value, so the next step is done parallelly, ok. Next is C2. So, for C2 it is G2 plus, sorry, G1 plus P1, C1, right. Yes, we know the C1 value, right, here. Yes, now G1 plus P1. C1 is G0 plus P0 C0. So, now we will get G1 plus P1 G0 plus P1 P0 and C0. Only we need C0 value. Once we get the C0 value, all the B cells, it will calculate, it will add the numbers parallelly. Okay. So, who will help? To add the numbers parallelly, yes, your carry look ahead logic, it will help the cells to add the numbers parallelly, ok. So, yes, we need C3. How to get C3? Here, it is G2 plus P2 C2. Again, C2 is here. So, G2 plus P2 into G1 plus P1, G0 plus P1, P0, C0. Again, multiply these. 
will get let us G2 plus P2C1 plus P2P1 G0 plus P2P1 P0 and C0. Okay. Okay, for C4 again it is G3 plus P3 C3. C3 is here and find out the function here like this. Okay. So, here this will perform the addition. Here it will perform the addition parallelly. Okay. This will done by carry look ahead logic. This is 4 bit carry look ahead adder. So, yes by using this diagram you can also write the you can also write the 16 bit carry look ahead adder. So, that means you need 4 bit cells. Here this B cells is nothing but single bit. Okay. Like that we need 4 4 bits 4 cells to write the 16 bit carry look ahead adder. Okay. Say for example, okay, in the next example, take only 8 bit. 8 bit carry look ahead adder. So, in that case, okay, to perform all these operations, it requires only 3 gate delays. To ca for carry, for carry, it needs only the three gate delays and four gate delays to perform the to get the SI value. In all the stages, total, okay, it is a total delay. So totally, we need in the carry look ahead adder only we need seven gate delays to get the SI final SI and CI value, CI plus one value, okay. Okay, now 8 bit carry look ahead adder. So, in that case, yes, this is the carry look ahead logic. This is carry look ahead logic, and this is the 4 bit cell. Here So, totally we need only 2, right? 4 bit cell. For 8 bit look ahead adder, we need only 4, 4 bit 2 cells. Okay. Inside those 4 bit cells, we have 4 B cells. Okay. B cells is nothing but only bit cell, right? It contains only 1, 1 bit xi, yi. Okay. But here, in the 4 bit, it is x 0 to 3, y 0 to 3. Okay. So, please remember the, please re remember the previous diagram. Okay. Okay. Here, x i 0 to 3, y i 0 to 3, we will get the sum. It is s 0 to 3 and this is Say for example, this is P0 of i and this is G0 of i and this is C0, okay. Okay, here it is C0. Okay, so the next you will get the next carry is C4. Okay, so inside this again we have 4 inputs x, 4 to 7 and y to 4 to 7 and s it is 4 to 7 and we have P0, sorry, P1 of i 
and g1 of i and you will get c4 sorry c8 carry 8. So, this is 8 bit carry look ahead adder. Yes, yes, once we know this, yes, you can easily write the 16 bit carry look ahead adder, right? 16 bit carry look ahead adder. So, for that again you need to extend it. Okay. Again we need 4 bit cell. So, here we get the C8 and the next is X82. Eleven Y eight to eleven and S eight to eleven and the next generate and propagate function that is G two of I P two of I. <coughs> okay, sorry. So the next is again we need four bit cell two inputs and one carry C11. So, X12 to 15 and Y to 12 to 15. So, output is sum is S12 to 15 and propagate and generate function G3 is of I and P3 of I. Okay. So, you will get the carry C16 here. Okay. This is 16 bit carry look ahead adder. So, inside the each blocks you will have 4 bit cells. This is a carry look ahead logic. So, here it will generate the carry and it will propagate the carry here. So, by using this we will get G0 of I, P0 of I. This is a carry and generate function. It is generated by the carry look ahead logic. So, again you can easily write the 32 bit carry look ahead adder also. Okay, you need to extend this till 32 bit. Okay, this is all about the carry look ahead adder. So, here Generate and generate and propagate function is uh, very very important here and here the addition is done parallelly that is why it is also called as parallel adder. So, this is very important and bit easy also. Thank you.